We are now done with the boil and transitioned into my lovely bathroom where the wort, which is what the boiled beer is called, is done taking an ice bath. It has reduced in temperature below 80 degrees. Right now it's about probably close to 70, 75 degrees, which is perfect. So we're gonna take out the thermometer, just put it aside, and we are going to add the wort to the clean and sterile, very important. This is the thing that has to be the most clean into the fermenting bucket. And I'm gonna put the camera down as I do that. you want to aerate it, which means splash it as much as possible. So hold it up nice and high. Alright. Now we have to add the other two and a half gallons to bring them up five gallons total. And once again, we want to aerate it plenty good. Get lots of oxygen in there, so splash it. Okay. Now the next step is to pitch the yeast, I believe, which is in this bag. Uh, yep, we're gonna put the yeast in there and cover it up. So, let's see, I don't think I can do it with one hand, so I'm gonna put the camera down again. Oh, there's the yeast. Let's just kind of slosh it around in there. And actually, I'm gonna stir it up maybe a little bit with the thermometer. Make sure sanitary, sanitary. Get it in there nice and good. Now I'm gonna put the camera down, put the lid on, and hook up the the valve, which is that bottle of cranberry juice with water in it. And this will ferment for one week or until it stops. Hey there. <laughs> it's gonna ferment for a week and it's gonna be bubbling nice and good. And the picture's really blurry. Um, and then after one week, I'm gonna open it up and add the dry hops, which is one more package of hops. Double IPA has tons of hops. And uh, after that, I'll put the lid back on and let it ferment still for a week after that, so two weeks total, and then after that we'll be ready to bottle. So I'll see you guys at bottling, which is the final step. Later.